This video is going to explain the process for um, downloading, uploading, editing, checking work within your Greg College keyboarding document processing. So with lesson 26, which is in part two, lesson 26, you start um, uh, the actual word processing. And so you can see as an instructor, I've already done lesson 26 a while ago, but I want to talk about the first correspondence. And because I've already done this one, I um, have two buttons available, edit existing work and start from scratch. Let me go to a lesson that I haven't done. So in chapter 27, um, uh, I'm just going to say, okay, I have done this. No, I haven't. Let me go to this one. Oh, it says you didn't do the, that's what it was saying. It was saying you didn't do this one. Why are you trying to do, why are you trying to do the other one that you haven't done before? I'm just trying to see if I can allow me to do. Okay. So here's one that I've never done before. So you can see the edit existing work is not there. I only have start from scratch. So what you're going to do is you're going to download the file and begin to work. Now, I'm not going to use this lesson. I'm going to go back to lesson 26 because I don't want to sit here and type and you watch me type. That would be boring. So I've already typed this letter and I have it somewhere. But anyway, um, this is what you would do. You would say start from scratch and you click on it. Now I'm in um, Chrome, so down at the bottom, is where my uh, document will be. So I open it up and here it is in Word and I will turn on my show hide. Now I have my ruler showing in um, Word. I always have my ruler turned on. I'm in my office and that's my default. If you want to see the ruler, you would say view and there's the ruler. But it will open up to a blank document because you're gonna create the document. So you will put on your show hide, which is this button, so that you can see how many enters to go down. You go down five, and then you start with the date. So I'm gonna open up the letter that I've already created. Um, I won't save this one, but I've already saved it here. No, I'm gonna go to the desktop. I saved it here. Okay, uh, just a second, let me... Here it is. So here's the letter. I finished typing and this is in your book. And you can see I have some red squiggly underlines. And um, I also have some errors that aren't showing. So I'm gonna turn my show hide off. So of course, yes, this is spelled wrong, but that isn't what the red squiggly underline means. The red squiggly underline means it's not in the dictionary. So for example, TurboNet is spelled correctly, but it's not in the dictionary. So I'm gonna ignore TurboNet, but I'm gonna um, industry professionals, I'm going to fix that. And I'm gonna right click on top of that and choose companies. And so now I'm done. Oh, I need my typist initials. So on two down, um, and my typist initials are CW, and now I'm not going to, you're, you would use your initials there. Now I'm not gonna hit the space bar because once I hit the space bar or I hit the enter key or something, it's gonna try to capitalize the first letter of that sentence, which is just an initial. So I have to go back and make it lowercase. So don't click anywhere. The other thing you need to get out of the habit, I often see students will go to the end of a sentence and then they hit the space bar. So watch what happens when we do that. I'm gonna upload this with that error there. I also have a couple of other errors that we're not seeing here. Everything's spelled correctly. So just because it's spelled correctly doesn't mean that it's right. So I'm gonna save this. And when you save it, it will automatically save, when you do save or save as, it automatically saves, I believe, to the documents folder. And here's one in the documents folder uh, from earlier today. So I'm just gonna cancel that out because that isn't the one I want. I have it, um, I saved it to the desktop. So I'm going to go back to my 
correspondence 26-3 and I'm going to say upload and save a file. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to go to the desktop and I'm going to again find it. There it is. I have too much stuff on my desktop. Okay, so I want it to score and I want to find the errors. So it says I've made an error, January 19th. Okay, I'm not quite sure what that one is. Um, the two is supposed to be spelled out, so that's a misstroke. I've got the, um, this wrong. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Our company is interested in hosting an, and I put and, educational. Um, I added that space after, so that's one little space after the period, even though everything's right, it considers it a, an error. So I have to go get rid of that blank space, that little enter key or that space I put in there. That might be interested, and I typed interesting. And then I omitted, I only put two enters after sincerely, and you need to have three. So it says omission error. So that means I omitted or forgot to add something. And then my initials are right. Now, if you put three initials, it will count them as wrong. So depending on your teacher. So this is done. I'm going to say OK. And what I need to do is I need to leave this open, but I have to have the document also. So I'm going to go back to um, my document so I'm gonna open Word because in Word my last the last most recent thing I did is right there and here's my document and let me see if I can move this over it's not gonna let me move it over so you're not gonna get to see both screens at once here let me go like this I will put in an extra enter here I will spell out the word to what else um, oh, I have the extra space here. I need the word interested instead of interesting. Oh, and I want to show you one other thing with this. Now, this is in your book, but most people skip reading it. So I'm just going to do it right here for you so you can see. So this spring dash one, this is an M dash, a long dash versus, let me turn this off, versus this dash down here. Where's our... There's one other dash in here. Um, oh, high speed internet. So if this was on the next line, you would see this tiny little dash versus this longer dash. So I'm going to show you how you make this long dash. And the book explains this, but it's not really clear. So what you do is you type spring, and then you hit dash dash, and you type the next word. And then when you hit the space bar, watch what happens when I hit the space bar it automatically makes that long dash for you. Now, there's a keyboard shortcut for this too, but and if you want to know, ask your instructor, but um, the, the M dash is, is that dash dash, type the word, hit the space bar. You can also find it under uh, symbols, I think in here, in the special characters. Yes, there's the M dash, and you see the keyboard shortcut, Alt Control, the number, keypad minus sign. So anyway, you might not want to remember that. So I'm going to save these changes. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to save, but I'm going to op upload this and see what it says about um, the one that I just fixed and see if I, if I have any errors. Submit. Oh, hmm. Okay. Submit work. So I still have an error here. I need one more enter there. I omitted it. I need one more enter here. So I have I still have the the zip code wrong. Um, I have to use an instead of and a n. And the other ones I got. So then again, I have to go back. Code. I did not fix that file. If I I also want to show you one thing. When I open Word. I know that this was the one that I had from, from this when I hit edit existing work because I had saved it to the desktop. So you can see where the document is. It's in downloads and downloads or on the desktop. So 
Um, also look at that in Word in your recent documents. See that little note there. All right, so this is enough for now. Your teacher can help you if you have any other questions. All right, good luck or have fun.